I'm at Chelmsford. It's January 2020 and I'm a little sad because I've come to say goodbye to an old friend. <laughs> These new trains are coming. Thought I'd better ride the old one whilst I had the chance. And then ride a new one. Will this be the last time? That I do that. Oh no, because I'm getting out of Liverpool Street. That, that, that'll be the last time. Okay. I mean, I like the squeaking sound. Uh, the units that have run up and down uh, the main line, the intercity line uh, on Greater Anglia from Liverpool Street to Norwich for many years. Before that, they used to run on the West Coast main line. Remember that? Before Pendolinos and Voyagers came in. Uh, but they may just be one of the last slam door trains left on the railways and they are being replaced by new intercity trains. I already did a video uh, last year on the class 755 flirt trains uh, which are running in some of the regional areas of Greater Anglia. The new class 745 trains, the intercity variants, are taking over from these and I'm about to go and catch one this afternoon but I, I couldn't do that without just coming for a quick ride on a class 90. So what may be for the last time, really this is it, this is it, this is it. Handle, door. Let's do it one more time. Customers are asked to remain on the concourse. 1340 departure to the Stansford Airport, arriving in Liverpool Street, approximately 12 minutes. Captain Dine is the 1400 Greater Anglia service to Norwich. So on platform 9 at Liverpool Street, it's pulled in. I can't help but notice it's a unit number 007, so insert your own James Bond gags here. I think first class is this end. Yes, it is. Uh, I'm going to maybe walk the length of the train first, go right down the end, and then maybe walk back through and we'll check out things as, as we come along. Yes, that is, that is first class. We've made it down the front to carriage car, so car M. There are these big bold letters on the side of every car. The Mark III units they're replacing, they're actually slightly shorter so the train doesn't oh, fill up the, the whole length of the platform. So there's this little, you can see here it doesn't quite go to the end. Twelve cars. this service for Norwich, we will be calling at Colchester, Manningtree, Ipswich, Dis, and Norwich. We've left on time. Uh, purple train. I approve. Uh, the seats here are very similar to the 755s. Uh, there's areas where they're slightly raised, so the plugs and USBs uh, are in the middle. There's like a, a space underneath where you can literally call under, so, but that's standard class. On the 755s, they were standard class only. Because these are the Great Eastern mainline intercity trains going up to Norwich, uh, they also have a first class. So behind me, Coach M, I'm in L. There's a the little seat reservation things up on the side. Let's go for a wander. There is a toilet here. So we'll count the toilets and we'll head down Hang on, no, that's L. What, what coach was this in? Oh, that's still L. That's weird, there's like a door partition. I wonder why that's a door partition. And now we're in K, walking through into J, but the door partition isn't between the cars. It kind of is, they, <laughs> the door partitions are where, are where the vestibule areas are. I passed through H, that's H into G. There's another standard class toilet down there. When you film on a train, it's weird because uh, people look at you. <laughs> Sometimes people say, don't you ever feel self-conscious, Jeff? Uh, yes, I do. It's easy when you're with someone else. Uh, so when you're by yourself, you're very self-conscious. But these trains are great for filming because you can stand in this vestibule area with, with these doors. And so you feel like you're in your own little private 
your own little private compartment. The one thing to say about the doors, I realise, there's buttons to open the doors, but there's not a button to close the doors. On most trains that have buttons, there's a close button as well as an open button, isn't there? But on these, only a button to open, so you have to wait for them to close. All right, now, we've come into what we call my friend Roger. Hey, Roger. He calls this the gubbins unit. It's where, it's where all the gubbins are <laughs> to make the train work. Uh, the 745s are electric only, yeah. but again, you come through this corridor section, very similar to the 755. I've moved down into first class and I'm going to present some more train facts for you. Um, actually, I needn't walk down the train at all. I could have just picked up one of these handy leaflets, which inside has got a handy diagram showing you all the things, like uh, where the toilets are and everything that I was trying to find. Uh, so, 12 carriages, I started up in M, worked my way down. Um, a and B, I'm sat in B right now, is where the first class is. Uh, they have a toilet just there. I think there's five toilets on board in total. Then Coach C, just one up, is where, now there's still a buffet. I was chatting to Paul, the lovely man. Uh, he didn't want to be on video. If I get a chance, I might do a sneaky cutaway shot round about now or where the buffet is, all the uh, all the brochures and paraphernalia still calls it a cafe bar. Uh, Paul and I decided that we were going to call it a bistro though, so the Greater Anglia uh, New Intercity Trains has a bistro cafe bar on board, come and get your cup of tea and snacks. Uh, in Coach C uh, is then uh, standard class is where the accessible area is right next to the accessible toilet and then in Coach D uh, there's an area for bikes as well and if you've watched the video where I did the 755s don't forget it's rather unique because these trains only have like one door that enable you to get on and off of them but also intriguingly I've noticed that here in the first class area uh, there's no uh, space in first class here for wheelchairs. We've cut into the video because I know this was recorded at a different time. I've just mentioned how there's no wheelchair space in first class and I wanted to address that and I'm going to address it with my friend Dominic. Hello, we, sir. Let's shake hands again. Ah. Dominic, can you tell about who you are? I'm Dominic. <laughs> I work for the Rail Delivery Group. I yes. lead on accessibility and inclusion. And a quote you said to me was, these Stadler 745 trains are like amongst your favourite trains ever. Yeah. What, why, why is that? So, a whole range of reasons, and I've kind of been a bit biased on this. So, yes. I was involved <laughs> in the project from the beginning. So, when it was a wooden mock-up out in the factory at Stadler in Switzerland, we were there and they were showing us, okay, this is the inside and this is how this could work or that could work. And they showed us all the bits and pieces they had on the uh, on, on offer in terms of tables, seats, etc. And we worked out exactly how to make that wheelchair space, the area that I primarily use, as accessible and as inclusive as possible within the boundaries that they had of a specification. And one of the challenges we had with the accessible area, if you like, for wheelchair users, was the initial plan that there would be tip down seats in the vestibule. We got quite inventive and managed to move those out of that particular vestibule, right. move them elsewhere in the train, so that when you're actually boarding the train as a wheelchair user or mobility scooter, push chair, whatever, it's easier to get in. There's not going to be luggage and people sat in the way that you've got to move and you can get into that area where you can bark up safely. Uh, we're going to cut back to me on the train, but Dominic, thanks again. I feel you're like welcome. I might see you at some point in the future, but we'll do a, we'll do a proper full on you know, accessible yeah. transport in London video uh, at some point. At well, some point. At some point, I want to take you out on a journey with me and show you some of the interesting challenges that wheelchair users and disabled people, you know. That I, that yeah. I, that I don't appreciate, yeah. Absolutely, okay. yeah. All right. And as well, you know, some of the things that people with hidden disabilities might actually um, experience as well. Okay. And, and, the whole realm of thinking within uh, disability. We'll do it in a forthcoming video. Anyway, back to me on the train, like this. Yeah. You're going to ask about the seats, aren't you? And then we'll do the elbow test. It's coming up. The seats is controversial because I believe there's a new DFT spec. So people often talk about uh, the seats on the Thameslink trains and the seats on the Hitachi trains. I would honestly say, out of all the, the new era of seats that I believe are spec'd by modern safety standards, these genuinely are the nicest ones I've been on comfort wise uh, out of all the new style seats so um, I like them and now to move the camera for the all important elbow test it works Whew. definitely works
one final bizarre thing. Can you see he hang on, here? He I there, there's a space between the two seats. Quite fortuitously, by chance, I just ended up doing like a little 180 dance to get into the seat on the far side. And I'm thinking, on all other trains, the edge of the seats goes all the way across. But what you're able to do here is to do like a fancy 180 to get yourself into the seat by the window. Are you watching? Like this. That means that you don't have to do this. You just 180 out, like a like a ballet dancer doing a pirouette. Accessible toilet. It's roomy. Buttons, not levers. That's all right. Plenty of space. Baby changing table. Standard toilet washing facilities. We have uh, got to Norwich. It's getting so dark in January. The sun is setting outside. Uh, they're new. They're shiny. They're exciting. They're fast. They pull away. When they're these pure electrics, like the Hitachi trains, when they move fast, uh, I was chatting to the guard and he said that on the current timetable there's definitely moments when they arrive a couple of minutes ahead of schedule. So I wonder if Greater Anglia will tweak their timetables. Um, they're quiet and they're sturdy. They don't bounce and they squeak, but obviously they have electric sliding doors and not slam doors with movable windows. But your new trains are here. We'll just, we'll get a parting shot of uh, the 37s and also it's, it's freaky how you can look, can you see all the way down there? And then you can look well, when the train is perfectly straight as it is here at Norwich Platform. You can look all the way, all the way down. A couple of Class 37s. But we'll leave you with a parting shot of the new Greater Anglia Class 745 here at Norwich. Thanks for watching.